Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, we're stuck in the basement, so we have family over for Christmas. My wife is sleeping on the couch behind me. Well, sort of sleeping. And we're going to review a beer. We're doing Niagara's Best Blonde. Uh, Niagara's Best Blonde is brewed by the Niagara Beer Company here in Niagara Falls, Ontario. It has a brewery and pub in downtown Niagara Falls you can go to. They have a bunch of other offerings, all of them playing along what the beers are to what's on the picture. This one has a girl who looks like she's from the 80s in high heels with blonde hair and an 80s dress. You know, it's Niagara's Best Blonde. There's also Niagara Lager, Niagara's Best Lager, which has a uh, lumberjack on it. So, anyway, 5% alcohol, Blonde Ale, let's see what it's like. So, it's kind of a honey color. Um, I don't know how well you can catch it. I don't have the uh, second fluorescent on, so that your wife can try and sleep. There's a little bit of a uh, white head up there. Not really much. It uh, doesn't smell nice whatsoever. It's a, a really sour malt nose. I mean, it kind of smells, kind of smells like paint. In in all honesty. Yeah, like you um, just opened up a can of paint. We're not talking latex, we're talking like oil based. Just not nice. Uh, looks nice. Don't smell very good. Taste wise. It's not the uh, worst beer I've ever tasted. It starts off uh, very malty. It's not sweet malt, it's just very malty. Malt stays in the middle. It's kind of, uh, it does have some fruit undertones. And then it fades to a, uh, their website says a refreshing hot finish, but I wouldn't really call it a refreshing hop finish. Um, the malt at the beginning is nice. The uh, fruity underlays you get in the middle are, are okay. The hoppy, the hoppy uh, finish is alright, but the, uh, 
the lingering aftertaste isn't good. Uh, this is the best Niagara has to offer. I'd say don't drink beer in Niagara. It's uh, it's almost as if the beer was filtered through Niagara's best blondes shoe or something. It's just it kind of, it's just dirty on the finish. The aftertaste is just dirty. I mean, I accept the beer up until the aftertaste. I like it. Well, I can accept it. It's not bad. The aftertaste just isn't right. I haven't had a chance to try any of Niagara's, Niagara's best other offerings. I don't know if they're any better than this. Um, it's 11.95 for a six pack, so I mean you're paying just under two bucks a bottle. So it's not a bad beer. I got this in a uh, Ontario Craft Brewers uh, mix pack, so I think I spent the same amount. I think it was 11.95 for the six pack. Uh, Price-wise, it's okay. I mean I'm I'm willing to pay a dollar ninety four, ninety five, maybe six ish for it. I wouldn't really be willing to pay any more. Probably give it a probably give it a three out of ten. I I won't buy it again. But if I had to drink it, I would. It's not something that I want to pour down the drain. It's not something that makes me ill. It's just not to my to my liking. I mean, most of the blondes I have are Belgian or German blondes, and just a lot better than this. You guys have yourselves a very good night. Good beer drinking to you.